All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Larry Williams. I'm the director of the Center for the Advancement of Research Methods and Analysis, uh, and I'm very happy to be sharing this experience with you. Uh, it is September 26, 2014, and later on today, Carmel will be celebrating its 10 years of successful webcast on research methods lectures. And I thought I would take a little bit, uh, take a few minutes and kind of share the evolution of the concept. So uh, when I was at Purdue University as a junior faculty member, I was very actively involved in the research methods division. And at that time, we were sort of champion, championing and developing what we then called pre-conference workshops that have developed down to what we now call the PDWs. And so we were doing those, and they were really uh, well received and well attended. And that sort of made clear to me that there was a need for uh, continuing education on research methods topics. Um, however, uh, the problem with that concept was that those were inevit inevitably short in duration, only a couple of hours, and it was limited to occurring only as a pre- or post-conference kind of activity. And uh, it occurred to me that there was a need for the opportunity for more extended training of a continuing education nature. Uh, we also realized the, how attractive it would be to be able to provide that training uh, on campus being able to use computer facilities. So uh, as I moved from the University of Tennessee um, then to Virginia Commonwealth University, that kind of led to the idea of having a center. And uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the name of that center should be. It had a bunch of words on little sheets of paper. It had institute, it had statistics, it had training. And eventually I shuffled them around and I looked at the associated acronym of CARMA and I said, that's it. So that's really how the name the Center for the Advancement of Research Methods and Analysis uh, was derived. So I went to Virginia Commonwealth uh, with the support of my good friend and department chair, Anson Sears there. And we did KARMA events from 1997. Uh, we did the mini conferences and some short workshops. But finally, it was in 2001 uh, that we did our first set of short courses. And in fact, I was very thankful to have Neil Schmidt from Michigan State join me in teaching the first one. Uh, which was an introduction to structural equation models. So in 2001, 2002, and 2003, uh, we grew those uh, from one, I think the next year it was two, we ended up doing five, and they were very well received and well attended. But we came to realize that there were some people for whom the cost of doing those events and the time and travel was a problem. And it was at that time that this uh, interweb uh, was gaining a lot of attention. And out of that was hatched the idea that maybe we could provide some research methods education training um, online. And hence the idea was the webcast. So in the fall of 2004, after thinking about this concept for a year or two, I finally I decided I wanted to do it. And I was very lucky because while at Virginia Commonwealth University, uh, I had a joint appointment with the Department of Healthcare Administration, and they were really one of the nation's leaders on uh, online uh, training, online uh, classes. And so as part of the exchange for my work for that department, they allowed me to work collaboratively with Mark Diana, uh, who's now in the Department of Healthcare Administration at Tulane University. So we didn't want to try to charge for these things because I really had no idea if we were going to be able to make it work. So we decided through support, the financial support of the Department of Healthcare Administration to try one. And so I've been looking back through some of my old materials. I think the middle of September we sent out the first announcement. We didn't want to do them at the individual level because we didn't know what capacity we would have. So that kind of led us to think about doing it as a school-wide event. And we sent out an announcement, and lo and behold, I think we had 28 or 29 schools 
that decided they would log in and join us for this event. So on December 3rd, 2004, uh, was the date of the first webcast. And who better to call upon than some of my best friends, uh, as well as the, the, the best of the best of the best in the research methods area, uh, Herman Aguinnis, Jeff Edwards, and uh, Larry James. And um, so we all got together, and uh, boy, there was a lot of anxi anxiety and nervousness because they had never done anything like that before. You know, I was worried about uh, the system crashing and having technology problems, uh, but lo and behold, everything uh, went very smoothly. And so building on that success, we decided to try to do it again in the spring. And uh, I think that first one with those guys was um, the focus was testing interactions. And so when it came time for the spring, I think, as I recall, what we did was tried to focus some on levels of analysis issues. And uh, we promoted it in the same way, handled all the technology the same way, only we had about twice as many schools participate. Uh, close to 50 joined us live that day for that particular event. So uh, based on that particular success, we decided that now we were confident enough in it that we could charge money for it. And so that following fall, we put together a series of 10 uh, webcasts and uh, the general program uh, began. And um, so I stayed at Virginia Commonwealth, uh, and, and with great thanks to my good friend and brother-in-arms, Evandro Moreno, who not only was great on the technology side, he took over from Mark, but also really had a good sense of, of marketing and website, and he helped, uh, he basically built our website and our database system, and that was all working just fine until I moved to Wayne State University in January of 2010. So uh, I was at Wayne State University from January 2010 until just about a month ago uh, when I moved to the University of North Dakota. And while we were here, uh, I want to just give special thanks to Sam Falarka, uh, who was the guy behind the scenes working on all the, uh, the media site technology to enable us to uh, be able to deliver uh, this particular product. So over the years, I've had a lot of great staff and so Karma does have uh, the Global Messenger, which is sort of our newsletter. And this most recent issue that we published earlier in the week, we devoted to celebrating uh, these 10 years. So uh, you can go to our homepage and find that, uh, that messenger. And with that messenger, you can see some pictures we have of our original webcast. We have made all three of those webcasts uh, available. Uh, free of charge for anybody that wants to watch them. Uh, we also have information about uh, the top schools in terms of the number of years that they have belonged, uh, the number of viewers uh, request for watching those viewings, because what we did is after we recorded them, we put them into what we call our video library, uh, which now has 98 um, uh, one-hour lectures in it. And just some stats that we have featured in the Messenger, uh, during that 10 years, we've had 386 different universities that have been member schools. We've had a total of set, close to 17,000 individuals who have viewed our webcast, and they have viewed over 33,000 33, times a faculty or student somewhere from around the world has gone to, um, to access those recordings. And uh, all of that kind of information and more details you'll find uh, in the messenger. So uh, I have now begun the transition to the University of North Dakota. And I moved to Grand Forks, North Dakota about uh, August 1st. And uh, we have updated our banner to include the UND logo with the flame. And we're trying to make this, uh, this transition happen. So I just want to point out that uh, over the years, I've been very, very fortunate to have many good people work with Karma. And some, for those of you who have been to Karma events or interacted with our Karma staff, you may be interested that we've got some photos of those staff members that you can also find uh, in the Messenger. Uh, right now, I'm especially thankful to uh, Alex Majetti and Hannah Diebel, Alex uh, trying not to laugh, and as I mention his name as he's holding our 
uh, his cell phone as we make this sort of uh, informal uh, recording, trying to capture uh, our history. And, um, but, so we've made the transition, and I just want to give a shout out, special thanks to three folks at the University of North Dakota who are making this happen. Uh, first of all, the Provost Tom DiLorenzo uh, has just been great in, in welcoming me and supporting the presence of karma at the University of North Dakota. At halftime, I'm in the psychology department uh, with the department chair, uh, Jeff, um, Jeff Holmes. And then my new tech guy is Nasser Hamani. And it's, it's just a huge transition in terms of moving those videos, moving our website, uh, developing the flexibility to deliver our live webcasts using different platforms, learning that uh, having to set up a different e-commerce application. And we're in the midst of all of this, uh, making all of this happen. Uh, but I'm just very thankful for all of my staff, uh, all the administrators at VCU and at Wayne State, now at the University of North Dakota. And of course, uh, we really couldn't do all of this without having uh, presenters who are willing to give up their time and travel across country to give a one hour lecture. Uh, many of those are people that I all, all already knew, uh, but over the years I've had to reach out to people from other disciplines that I didn't know, and um, it's really seldom that somebody says no, and, and I'm very thankful for that. So uh, we're going to be getting going uh, with the webcast here uh, later on that, this afternoon. Let me invite you to visit the Karma homepage to get more information. Uh, you can, we got a lot of cool pictures on our Karma Facebook location. We do these Meet the Methodologist interviews that we place on YouTube. So there's a lot of information out there that we're trying to put forth as we pursue the cause of helping social and organizational uh, faculty and student researchers uh, keep up with advancements and learn to uh, do their research in some optimal way. So we invite you to become involved with Karma. Thanks again to everybody that's helped make this happen, and I wish you a great day. How long was that?